In this test, I've eliminated the PPS from the starting circuit completely, and uh, I've, uh, 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 I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can get the engine to turn over uh, and, and for the start cycle to complete, uh, simply powering the contactor. I've got that uh, uh, flyback diode installed in the circuit, and I'm just simply going to touch the screw here to the positive battery terminal uh, of the uh, mass, uh, manual battery switch, and uh, we'll see if the contactor wants to drop out. I'm curious as to whether or not that is causing the PPS to trip. So, let's see. Uh, I've got the voltmeter again set up. This time, it's monitoring the voltage at the starter itself. So the master switch is in the on position. Fuel, main fuel, or correction, start fuel solenoid is energized. The battery switch is on. And the test in three, two, one. So clearly there is something, that, and that worked just fine. I'll go ahead and, and try it again before I terminate this video. But it certainly appears that there is something that, that the original PPS as well as this loaner PPS does not like about uh, actuating that contactor with the contactor uh, being attached to the starter. Second test. In three, two, one. I'll do it uh, a third time, and then I'll, uh, if it works this time, then I'm going to call quits. Test in three, two, one. Okay, so there's some new results to report to uh, Astronics Vertical Power.